the last video the last vlog on the Hornet ever so I go up and get petrol and then I have to bring it to the shop and it's getting sold <laughs> this feels so fucking weird holy shit I literally spent about two hours there cleaning it I actually feel like a bit of a numpty on this bike I'm already so much more comfortable than I am on the R6. Oh god. But yeah, I've spent probably close to two hours cleaning it. Getting into nearly every nook and cranny. Fuck you, bitch. Yeah, I've had some great memories on this bike. I haven't had any bad ones, actually. Uh, never crashed on this bike, never dropped it. And I love this bike. This is the last time I ever ride it as well. That's sad. So yeah, it's going off to get sold now. Put into the, the shop. And then only time will tell when it gets sold. I still think, and even coming off the R6 now back onto this, I still think the handle on this bike is so much better. And also, I have man flu. I woke up this morning with man flu. And I feel like I got a sneeze, not in the helmet, come on. I know I don't even have the power to really overtake these guys, but I'm going to try to do it up here anyway. It's like no power! <laughs> oh, that's funny. Sound of this bike, but can I do a wheelie? It's the main question. <laughs> no, almost. Come on. No. Oh, these brakes are so bad. Still at that, it was only like 120 miles an hour, but on this bike it feels so fast. Um, I'm gonna do a bang on it as well, because my new bike doesn't bang. It doesn't bang! No, it's very hard not to get an emotional attachment to, to bikes, or cars, or you know, like if it's your vehicle for, for ages and you've been through so much. Like I sell bikes, I go through a bike a year maybe. In some case I go through two bikes a year. But it's when, like this is my first big bike. And I've done like 20 something thousand miles on it. I've been everywhere on this bike. No loads on this bike. So it's all, you know, it is very sad when you think of it. Like all the stuff that I've done on this bike. You know, this bike kind of grew my channel this year. Or last year. But, uh, give it, give a like for, for Robin. I've never, I've barely even referred to her as Robin. This is Robin, for those of you who don't know. For all my new subscribers, this is my old bike. Um, I've done a lot on this bike. Oh. I still feel more confident on this bike than I do on the Hornet or on the Orsi. Just the handling on this bike is so good. Now when you've had a bike for a year, a little over a year now, a little bit over a year, 
you know, you get so confident, especially that I've done like 20 some thousand miles, you get so confident and comfortable on this bike. And it's just weird going back for now. Now that it's nice and warm, I do a wheelie now. No, come on. Come on, we have to do one wheelie at least. Ah, oh, come on, they're tiny. Ah. That's all kind of do. on it now. You ready for this? There's one thing I love about this bike is the exhaust. <laughs> no, the mic probably didn't pick that up. This bike has a bit of bulk like, it's not that there's nothing there on it. The R6 is just a completely different animal altogether. So sad. <laughs> so How many likes can we get for the Hornet? Show your love for the ho Hornet. Say goodbye to her in the comments because this is going to be the last time, last vlog I have on her. Um, it's very sad. I seriously think the first person who, who test drives this is going, is going to buy it. Yeah guys, that's the video. Say goodbye to the bicycle. So sad. Mm -hmm. Like, comment, subscribe. Mm -hmm. Talk to you all in the next video. And this is where you can buy our Ronin Pentany Motorcycles. That was a nice old one there as well. That's a fucking beautiful old one. <laughs>